Hi there, welcome to Fun with Scratch. My name is Benji, and today we will be learning about creating your own blocks and using sound. So far we have used the blocks created by Scratch to make our programs, but today we will learn how to make our very own block. Learning how to create your own blocks will allow you to save time and make more creative projects. Let's get started. Start by clicking on the pink My Blocks tab right under the variables. Right here, it should be the bottom one. In the space where there are usually blocks that you can drag and use for your programs, there should be a gray button that says Make a Block. Once you click on that, a tab should pop up that allows you to customize the block. So click on Make a Block, and this is your tab. So it's time to name our block. At the top of the tab, there should be an empty block underneath the trash can symbol. Click on the text that says Block Name, delete that, and then um, in this program today, we'll be we'll, in the program that we're making today, we will learn to create a block that makes a sprite jump. So we're going to label the block as jump. Perfect. We gave our block a practical name, but you can name the block something else if it's descriptive. It will still make a sprite jump because that's what we're programming it to do. Once you've labeled your block, go ahead and press the blue OK button in the bottom right hand corner. So you just created your first block, and now it's time to program it. A block that says define jump should automatically appear. Underneath that block, yeah, this is define jump. Underneath block, underneath that block, drag a go to x block from the motion category. Put in the number zero and zero, so it'll just start at the bottom, the the middle of the screen. So um, next, go back to the motion category and drag in a glide block. So drag in this glide one second to zero zero but change this one to 0 0.5 and then change the y to 50 and then let's drag another glide block same one let's make it the same number of seconds 0 0.5 again but this time it's going to go back to x0 y0 so to see your block in action drag a when flag that's clicked block and drag in your jump block underneath that so go to events Grab that when flag is clicked, and then go to sound, or not sound, pardon me, go to my block, and then grab jump. So now when the flag is clicked, this code is going gonna, is gonna to be uh, used. So you click the flag, the cat goes to 0, 0, glides for 0.5 seconds up to 0, 50, and then for 0.5 seconds back down to 0, 0, and boom, it looks like you're jumping. Congrats, you just created your first block. So to add sound to your program, start by clicking on the tab that says sounds. It should be next in the costume tab, next to the costume tab. So right here, click that tab, and then click on the blue button in the bottom left-hand corner to add a sound. So, um, yeah, once you have that open, click on the sound button. Now it's time to have some fun. Let's select a sound from the library or record a sound. So for this video, we're going to be using a pre-recorded sound called Big Boing in our project. So I'm going to choose a sound and look up Big Boing. This one looks good. So now we have that sound, but we have to go and implement it in our code. So um, I'm going to put it before the glides and after the cat goes to 0, zero. So go to sound, drag out that sound that you just... Um, drag out start sound of the sound that you just got and now put it in the code before the glide so now when the flag is clicked the cat's going to do the jump function which includes going to x0 y0 it starts the sound which is like a spring and then it glides up and down so that should turn out something like this you see how it has a little spring sound before it and then the cat jumps and congrats so you made your first block um, um, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment, and thanks for watching Fun with Scratch.